Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Expose Framework on OnePlus 2. So guys, firstly, you need to come to this particular web page. I'll leave a link for this page in the description area. Or else you can simply search for official Expose for Lollipop and you should find this link in the Google search results. So anyway, you can check out the link in the description area. So once you're here, you need to download three files. So this tutorial can be used for any device actually. But there are some precautions. So guys, this is Expose Framework and this is not officially by Android. So your device may get bricked or it might go into a boot loop. So if anything wrong happens, it's on you. Don't complain at me. So before doing anything, make sure that your device is rooted and you have a custom recovery and take a complete Android backup or a normal backup. So in our case, I'm going to show you how to install the Expose Framework on OnePlus 2. You can install this even on the stock ROM, but currently I'm running a custom ROM called as SkyDragon. So anyway, make sure your device is rooted and has a custom recovery and you take a backup before installing anything related to Exposed Framework. So guys, in this link, if you scroll down, you'll find all these download links. And let me just explain you what these links are for. Firstly, we have something called as Exposed Bridge API. You can skip it. It's for the developers. Next, we have Exposed Installer Alpha APK. This is the application you need to install on your phone. Next we have some zip files for uninstalling the exposed framework. So this x86 is for Intel chipsets, Intel processors. ARM is for 32-bit processors whether they may be quad-core or octa-core like Samsung's Exynos processors or MediaTek chipsets. And finally we have ARM64 which is for 64-bit processors. So, as OnePlus 2 has a 64-bit processor, if you want to uninstall Exposed Framework, you need to download this particular file. Next, we have zip files to install the Exposed Framework. Over here, we have 9 download links with each varying SDK numbers and the ARM processor. So, SDK 21 is for Android Lollipop 5.0, 22 is for Android Lollipop 5.1 and 23 is for Android Marshmallow. And as I've said, x86 is for Intel processors, ARM is for 32-bit processors, ARM64 is for 64-bit processors. So as OnePlus One is currently running 5.1.1, we need to download this particular file, Exposed V79 SDK22 ARM64. So you need to download this file and copy it into your OnePlus 2 or else you can simply download this file on your OnePlus 2. So ultimately you just download this file and move it to your phone. Next, if you want to uninstall the Exposed Framework, you need to download this particular zip file. And finally, you need to download this particular APK. Just click it and it will download just like that. So once it is done, come back to the device. I'll show you what to do next. As you can see, I'm currently running 5.1.1 and Oxygen OS version 2.2.0. It is not the stable ROM. It's actually a ROM called as SkyDragon based on Oxygen OS. Well, there isn't anything much different from the stock ROM. There are just a few customizations in it. So anyway, it works even on the stock ROM. So with that said, make sure you download the correct files. Let me tell you once again, you need to download SDK 22 version of exposed framework for Lollipop 5.1. And if you're having Lollipop 5.0 on your OnePlus 2, you need to download SDK 21. And if you are running Marshmallow, you need to download SDK 23. And all should have ARM64 in it because your OnePlus 2 is having a 64-bit processor. And even if you want to uninstall, you need to download the 64-bit version. And the APK is common for all. So guys, you need to install this particular application. Just click on it and it will ask you for a confirmation. Just click install and then again install. I have already installed this application, so I am not going to do it now. So once you're done, you need to go to recovery. So you can press the power button and press reboot. And you have this option to go to recovery. Just in case if you don't have that option, you can go to settings. Once you're in settings, scroll down, go to about, scroll down once again, click build number at least seven times and you'll receive a toast message saying that you are a developer. And just in case if you didn't, just hit it some more times. 
so anyway once that is done if you go back you will be able to see developer options about about phone just select that over here you have this option that says advanced reboot so you need to enable this option and once you do that you press the power button and select reboot you will have the option to go to recovery directly from here so guys let's go to recovery press ok so guys make sure you download all those files that i've just said and copy it to your phone or else you can simply download those files to your phone so guys my device is already rooted and i have twrp custom recovery now we need to flash the zip file that i have told you about just go to install and then go to the location where you have saved the exposed framework files over here i have my files it will only show you the zip files it will not show you the exposed installer apk so the first file is the file that you need to flash if you want to uninstall exposed framework and in our case we want to install the framework so i need to select the second file and i need to swipe to flash as i've said i have already flashed it so i'm not going to do it but you need to simply swipe it and it will flash the zip file and it'll ask you to reboot guys make sure you take a backup of your phone before you do this because anything can go wrong and your device may end up in a boot loop so to take a backup simply go to backup over here and you can choose your location and you can even rename it and simply swipe to take a backup so after taking a backup install it i hope you watch this video once and then install the exposed framework so guys once you do that it will take about 5 to 10 minutes to turn on and just in case if it doesn't then you might be in a boot loop so just turn off your device by pressing and holding volume down and power button both at the same time and go to recovery try wiping the cache and dalvik cache and try to reboot again if it doesn't work restore to your previous version so that's pretty much it guys this is how you install exposed framework on your device So let me just show you a proof that exposed framework is working on my device. So I just change the theme. Anyway, let's go to modules. So these are all the modules that I have and these are the ones that I have enabled. So the gravity box works. I can change the brightness by swiping on the slider just like that. And this is the battery bar. on the top with some nice animations and i can double tap the status bar to lock the device double tap it to wake it up which is a feature of OnePlus 2 but now i can double tap on the lock screen to put it to sleep once again so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this video i hope you found this video to be helpful if you like this video give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this